Hi everyone, it's Phil here from Ashland Leather and today I wanted to show you a bunch of made to order wallets. Thought I'd share with you some of my daily joy. These are all a bunch of wallets here. I've got a, we call this the boat of wallets. A bunch of made to order stuff. This is my first time seeing them. So I'd like to share my first impression of some of these really special wallets. If you're not familiar with our made to order process, we can make any of our designs in any leather, any stitching color, any of the little details we're happy to modify for you. Let me show you some of the stuff uh, that we're gonna send out today. This first one here looks to be a really cool piece of inverted magenta shell Corvin that has that really great color range from that pinkish sort of red magenta color down to a little bit more of this tan sort of natural color. And the middle piece here, this is actually the reverse side of that inverted magenta shell. So you can see that sort of magenta ultraviolet color in the center with the inverted ultraviolet on the left and right. I'm not sure if I was calling this outside magenta, but this is definitely inverted ultraviolet. Up next, another really cool inverted piece. It looks like uh, people got the hint that we have some of these special inverted shells. Check that out. Really random die marks. And you see that color range as I spin it around. And on the inside, we've got more inverted so you got inverted card holders and passport holders on the left and right. And then the center here, this looks like violet shell Corvin. So maybe this is inverted violet on the outside. So we've got another passport holder here in uh, brown chrome Excel. And as you can see, my finger sort of tracks the waxes that have been tanned into the chrome Excel. It's a really, really rich feeling leather. And we don't do a lot of brown chrome Excel, which is exactly what this is. Let me take a brush to this guy just to show you how those waxes sort of polish right back in. And if you're not familiar with Chrome Excel, this has become known as a self-polishing leather for that reason. It just has so much wax and oil tanned into it. And this one has been personalized for KCP. Thank you so much, KCP. And the inside looks like we got some Cobalt Blue Dublin. And these are a little bit thinner. This might be the uh, horsehide Dublin for the interior of this one. Another passport holder to look at. This looks like black Chrome Excel. And you can tell that it's Chrome Excel leather because the grain is very, very flat and smooth and very polished in. Where sometimes on something like a black Dublin, it's much more textured and grainy, or the Chrome Excel here is very, very flat and smooth. You can also see my finger sort of tracking the waxes that are tanned into this leather. And again, I can sort of polish those right back out with just a quick brushing. And on the inside of this one, we also have black Chrome Excel, again, with my little fingerprint smudges that we can easily brush out. This is not a color that we normally do for our Chrome Excel items, which is why it's made to order. Normally we just do black Dublin for our black choice of passport holders. All right, here's a cool looking Fat Herbie. And this looks like color number eight Dublin on top of some natural Latigo. And if you look down the spine of this wallet, you can see as we flex and crease the leather, the color is a little bit lighter, a little bit more cherry red, a little bit more burgundy, which is how you can tell that it's color number eight Dublin, a very grainy texture as well when you compare it to the, the Chrome Excel that we were just, just looking at here. Very flat and polished, smooth for the Chrome Excel, and a little bit more grainy and textured for the Dublin. Here's a look at the inside. Oh, cool. So this is a fun combination with color eight Dublin on the left and the natural Latigo on the right. Looks like we got another Fat Herbie here. This is Western Black Shell Cordovan. Check out that texture. I really like this Western texture. It's my favorite texture that Horween does. And when you impart it onto something like black, it has a really magical look. Looks like we've got some black hand stained edges on this one. And on the inside, more black Western Shell Cordovan with a great Horween ink stamp cut right into the center of this guy. Here's another Western texture wallet. This is a Johnny the Fox. It looks like Western Natural Shell Cordovan. Or maybe this is Western Amaretto. Uh, Western Natural. It's a pretty awesome looking color and texture here. On the inside, this is really special. I think this is uh, made to order for a special customer out in New York City. Uh, this is Western Natural that took us a long time to be able to get the naturally thin pieces of leather for the inside of this Johnny the Fox. Up next is a Capone Money Clip in a really great color. This is Denim Blue Shell Cordovan. Definitely an aqua blue color, especially compared to the navy shell cordovan that we don't offer. Sometimes those darker navies can sort of read as black in something like a wallet where you're not forming it around the last. 
Not really seeing any of those lighter undertones of the navy, which is why we choose the denim blue shell cordovan for all of our uh, standard blue offerings. On the inside of this one, more denim blue shell cordovan. And here's another blue wallet. This is a one-shot card case in Cobalt Blue Dublin. I really like the one-shots for minimalist design, and it allows you to try out all these different leathers. So if you're into something like a blue Dublin, or you want to experience what this is like, the one-shots are a great way to do that. Looks like this one has also been personalized for CDC. Here's a Bugs Moran in my favorite shell cordovan color, Amaretto shell cordovan. It's a really vibrant, orangey tan shade that has a really dramatic color shift to it. So some angles, it's a little bit more orange, a little bit more yellow almost, and then other angles, some more of these red tones pop out. It's a really dynamic color that I very much enjoy. It's my favorite shell color. On the inside of this one, looks like we've cut no ink stamp into the center, which is probably a custom request. Normally we try to cut the ink stamps whenever possible. And here's another Bugs Moran, but this one has a different card layout on the inside. So the exterior here looks like black shell cordovan. You can see my fingerprint smudges just a little bit. We can also polish those out on the shell cordovan very, very easily. The shell cordovan is also known as a self-polishing leather. On the inside, here's those vertical card slots I was talking about. Looks like we got some marbled magenta or marbled ultraviolet on the interior of this one. Here's a really cool Capone money clip. This is English tan Dublin, but this is on the bison hide. At least I'm assuming it is because most of the bison that we see have has this really dramatic texture. It's almost like the epic texture we sometimes talk about, but the bison, especially in the Bison Dublin, has a really, really dramatic texture that you see here. I don't think we have much of this leather left, but it is very, very cool. It's very fun for me to see. Wow, here's a cool looking Capone money clip. Violet Shell Cordovan, which is the most purple shade that Horween offers. There's also Ultraviolet, which has a little bit more of those reddish sort of pink colors to it. The violet is more of a straight up purple, and this is a really striking color, especially in person. And inside we've got more violet shell cordovan. It looks like we've got a black spring bar money clip on the inside of this one. One more thing I almost forgot to mention. This one also has hand stained violet edges, which we can do for most of our wallets. We can do hand staining for the edges, and we tend to have most colors that Horween makes the shell cordovan out of that we can match to the edges of the wallets. Here's a fun one. This is one of our comb sheets for one of the larger combs. So this is the, I believe this is a Model 8 comb from Chicago Comb. It's more of like a handled comb that fits into this sheath. And it looks like this is a leather that we haven't had very recently. Uh, this is a leather called Mystic from Horween, but somebody actually wanted this flipped backwards. So this is the flesh side of the red Mystic. Uh, you can see the grain side on the inside of the comb sheath. This one has a really cool Horween measuring machine stamp on the bottom left here, uh, Horween USA, and then you can see the measurement of the skin underneath. It looks like this was measured on February 27th. I'm not sure what year that was, and the footage of this particular skin was 18.3 square feet. All right, we got a bunch more stuff to look at. Last week, I think I put up a video about tumbled shell cordovan. This is a piece of tumbled natural shell cordovan. I really like this variation on the shells, along with the marbled shell cordovan and the inverted shell cordovan. They have been making different experimentations of ways to present the shells. And the Tumble Natural, this one is really excellent, especially for the patina that will accumulate and develop onto this. It has a really different texture too, as opposed to the normal shell cordovan. The Tumble shells have a little bit more of this sort of pebbly effect, which is not actually pebbling. It's, it's just a little bit different. And then as a result of the tumbling, it's also opened up the shell a little bit. So it has this more velvety feel. And I think because it's been opened up, it tends to develop a more dramatic patina. So this one is definitely built for patina. Tumble natural on the outside with reverse interior. And here's another wallet with a reverse interior, another Bugs Moran, in fact. It looks like on the outside of this one, we have raw natural shell cordovan. And this one sort of has a unique look with that line going through the center on the raw natural here. This is another one that's exceptional for patina. You can see it does have a mild sheen to start. But as the raw natural is worn in, it develops to be much brighter, more shiny. And also the color develops to be a little bit darker and a little bit more of a golden brown color. On the inside of this one, we also have a reverse interior, just like the one we were looking at a moment ago. But this is the vertical card slot. So we've got two card slots on the left, two on the right. 
There's a hidden card slot underneath each of those. And then tons of random die marks on this one. This is really great. I also recommend for most people to pick reverse card holders for interiors of wallets. I tend to like how they wear in a little bit better with the reverse touching reverse on the inside of the wallet as opposed to the shell rubbing against the shell. I find the reverse to be a little bit more easily filled in and polished in. Ooh, some more cool stuff here. <laughs> Check out this blue one. This one uh, was screaming to me. Really, really cool wallet here. And this is for a local customer here in Chicago. Uh, I caught this one with him in person uh, a couple weeks ago. This is inverted blue shell Cordovan with a really, really dramatic sort of color range and visual texture. It might look like it feels textured, but this is very, very flat and smooth. Just a really cool uh, pattern on this piece of inverted blue. So this is a tall Tony the Ant. We got some blue stitching on the outside and then all the edges on this are also hand stained with a blue finish. And then on the interior, we've got some more inverted blue. So it's inverted blue on top of reverse inverted blue, which is actually that more dark blue color. It's almost got a little purple to it. Inverted blue in the center, another reverse piece, and then inverted blue on the right. Here's another Tony the Ant. Similar to the one we just looked at, the tall Tony the Ant does not have this exterior thumb notch. It has a bill slot that goes all the way to the top. So that's the big difference between the tall Tony and our standard Tony the Ant. This one looks like we've got some raw denim blue underneath, some marbled blue on top. And that is very, very neat. Sometimes the marbled blue can look a little bit like marbled black. This one has a little bit more aqua blue tones inside of these green colors, where the marbled black doesn't tend to have this sort of aqua color to it. And this is really cool too. We've got raw denim on top of marbled blue card holders. And hopefully I don't mess up any of these. I haven't looked at any of them uh, beforehand, so there's a chance I might be misnaming uh, colors, but I'm not sure. Check this out though. This is the Epic Texture Natural Shell Cordovan. Really, really great look. And it, again, might look like it feels textured, but this is very, very flat and smooth. If I can get the light to sort of hit this, you can see just how smooth it really is. But that sort of visual texture uh, is very, very compelling. This is what we call the Epic Natural. On the inside of this one, great. Somebody must be listening to the videos because we've got the reverse interiors. I love the choice for this wallet. And here's another very, very cool wallet. Another tumbled piece, tumbled natural shell cordovan on the Gus card case. And I was using one of these wallets for a, a couple months to carry business cards. And I really enjoyed this one. I haven't done too much of a job trying to sell this to people. But if you carry business cards around, I think this is a really, really good option because the card holders on the inside, these are a little bit wider than credit card holders. And they're wider because business cards tend to be a little bit wider. And then in addition to that, they sort of expand and gusset out because of the design we put on the inside of the Gus card case. So this is a really cool piece of tumbled natural shell. A couple more wallets to look at here. Another of my favorite shell cordovan color, Amaretto shell cordovan on the Tony the Ant with reverse amaretto on top of amaretto on the right, and then amaretto shell on the left. That's a beauty right there. All right, we've got a few more pieces to look at. We've got a couple watch straps in the batch here. This is cigar shell cordovan with a cream color hand whip stitch along the tops and bottoms of this strap. And that whip stitch is a really nice sort of contrast to the cigar shell cordovan. We've been noticing that cream color stitching tends to go well with just about everything, and especially something like this darker, more of a straight up true brown shade. I think it goes very nicely with the cigar shell. Here's another watch strap. This one is an Apple watch band, and it looks like this is in the ultraviolet shell cordovan. You can see it's a little bit less purple when compared to the violet shell that we were looking at a moment ago. A little bit more of a subtle, sort of uh, vibrant, reddish magenta kind of color. This watch band is online watch strap. So you can see the reverse side here is a little bit more of that pinkish sort of color. And then this particular Apple watch band has some silver hardware. It looks like we got a couple comb sheaths and these are smaller comb sheaths. Normally the comb sheaths that we offer are for the model one comb that Chicago comb makes. It's a little bit longer, like that long. These are made for more of their beard combs. And we got a piece of shell cordovan here. It looks like violet shell cordovan. And this piece of shell is very, very bright and shiny. It's actually hard for me to, to show off the color here, but that violet shell is very, very neat. And another smaller comb sheath here, again, for the beard comb that Chicago comb makes. This looks like cigar shell cordovan. 
That's a really nice piece of shell. Also very, very bright and shiny, flat and smooth. And it looks like we got a key fob in the batch today. Western black shell cordovan on this key fob with no branding whatsoever. And that's a really cool look. And the last wallet of the day is something that we don't make as a standard offering, but we can still make it, of course. This is what we call the machine gun jack. And this is a card holder that's made out of one piece of leather and everything is sort of mirrored. So this top corner sort of matches to that one which was a design that we thought was very interesting. The only issue I ever have with this wallet, and it, we should probably stock it again, but it doesn't fit cash very well. You have to fold cash into thirds in order to fit it inside this card slot, but it's very, very functional and easy to use because of this little notch here. It almost functions like a thumb notch that we have on some of the other wallets. This one is basically designed just for cards. When I was using this, I think I was using about eight cards inside of this design. And this is a great, more of like a minimalist front pocket sort of snap wallet design. So, wow, thanks for checking out all this stuff with me today. Uh, stunners, oh, all of them are stunners. I'm gonna have to come back to this one just because I don't think I've ever seen a piece of inverted shell look just like this. It's a really unique piece of leather here. But again, some of my favorite colors with the amaretto shells that we're looking at. This one has a really great combo. It's really tough for me to pick a stunner. Maybe you can help me out. Tell me which one of these you liked, like Epic Natural here. So much cool stuff in the video today. Thanks for checking it out. If this is one of yours, thank you guys so much for picking up a wallet. Can't wait for you to have it. And I really appreciate your support. Until next time, hope you have a good one.